Most people when they set up a WordPress blog tend to use the default username which is admin. Unfortunately that doesn't make it very secure because when a, use, a hacker tries to break into your site they need to know two things, your username and your password. And of course if virtually everybody is using the username of admin then um, the hacker's job is half done. So here's, unfortunately, a WordPress won't allow you to change the username very easily. So there's a crafty way around that problem. What I suggest you do is you set up a new username that you're going to replace the existing one with, plus a new password. And uh, the best way to do this is to create a series of nonsense letters and numbers by simply hitting keys on your keyboard at random. So uh, there's not even a proper word here to, uh, for a hacker to, uh, to get a handle on. Uh, I suggest that you save this as a text file, uh, as well as your, the email that you're using, plus the name, and to keep this safe because uh, this will be the way that you'll be logging into your WordPress site in the future. Now we'll log on to our WordPress keyboard, and you can see what we're looking for here is this area called Users on the left-hand side. Click the little triangle and you'll then get a drop down box and you'll get the new add user. This will bring up a, a board and of course here we've got all our usernames and, and passwords already set up. So we uh, highlight that and then press Ctrl plus C. Alternatively you can use the, uh, the copy button at the top there. I'll go back to our WordPress dashboard in the username and the, then the email address see it's a nice strong password because we've just used random letters and numbers and uh, of course it's easy to paste it in twice absolutely right first time now this is the most important thing of all you've got to change the area here to admin this gives the uh, the role of the new user as administrator which will allow it to be used as a as your password as you now see, we've now created the original admins there, and we've now created this second user underneath. Now what we do now, and this is most important, is to, is to log out of the dashboard, and then re-log in, but as our new user. By doing this, uh, it means that we can eventually delete the old username with admin but you can't do it unless you this is the secret really is, is actually logging out and of course uh, setting up your new username as as administrator as well that's two important points there so we'll now see if our new uh, username allows us in yes and we're in fine okay so now we go back to the user section on the left hand side again Go back to all users, these are two both administrator roles. So we now just uh, click on the delete section there. Now, what it'll do is it'll ask you what to do with all the posts that you've attributed to the admin, the original username. So we simply select that we're now going to transfer all those to the new username. And that will then confirm the deletion of the admin username. There we are. Now you'll see that there's only one username there, and that's the new one that we've set up. As you can see, the, uh, the 17 posts that originally were attributed to admin are now attributed to the new username. We go to the posts 
as you can see, they've all now been attributed to your new username. But of course, you don't really want that showing anywhere, especially not on the on the public area of the site. So what we do there is quite simple. We go down again to our user details. Click on the drop down box and then go down to your profile. Now you see here, this is the username cannot be changed. Well, uh, we know differently, don't we? <laughs> but here we have, see, remember we put in our first and last name. Um, and what we want here is display name publicly as. Well, we don't want that displaying publicly, obviously, because that's given the game away again with your uh, username. So what we've got to get down, you can either have choice John or Smith, or in my case, I'll go for John Smith. And that's all we need to do. And if we then come down, we've obviously got to save that setting. Update profile. If we then go back to the posts, and we'll see what we shall see. And now they're all attributed to John Smith. So there's no evidence now of your username being publicly displayed. So uh, you're now fairly safe from all those naughty hackers out there. For more like this, and tips on every aspect of making money online, go to unfairadvantageclub.com.